politicians from pro-Kurdish opposition parties gathered in Van, Turkey, on Friday to protest the Turkish government's recent trustee appointment in Hakkari, alongside a new vigil in Turkey's multicultural city of Istanbul. Meanwhile, Turkey's pro-Kurdish Dem Party and the country's main opposition, CHP, called for early elections this week in a response to the political and economic turmoil in the country. Syrian Women's Council member Muna Yusuf has recounted the tale of her family's struggle against displacement, first by Israel and then by Turkey. And Vincent Gerbe, an academic and environmentalist, celebrates the political legacy of jailed Kurdish leader Abdullah Öcalan. Learn more with Media News. Politicians from pro-Kurdish opposition parties in Turkey gathered in Van on Friday to protest the Turkish government's recent trustee appointment in Hakkari, criticising this move as a severe infringement on the democratic rights of the Kurdish people. The protest came alongside a new vigil in Turkey's largest city, Istanbul, also condemning the government's approach. The Van protest was spearheaded by the People's Equality and Democracy Party co-chair Tulay Hatimullah and the Democratic Regions Party co-chair Keskin Boyunda, accompanied by a huge local support despite a heavy police presence. During the rally, Boyunda articulated their stance against the trustee policy, which they view as a systemic assault on Kurdish cultural and linguistic heritage. He explained, We are here in Van to oppose the trustee policy that was imposed five years ago, robbing Hakari's people of their democratic will. Meanwhile, daily vigils are being held in Istanbul demanding justice and the upholding of democratic principles. The protesters, many wearing T-shirts with the slogan Trustees Out, are calling for an end to what they see as unjust intervention into Kurdish self-governance. The justice vigil began on Saturday in the Kadakoy district of the city. The organisers called for the vigils to continue on a daily basis. Opposition parties in Turkey are escalating their calls for early elections, presenting a united front against what they describe as the government's illegitimate actions and economic mishandling. Both the pro-Kurdish Dem Party and the main opposition CHP called for early elections in response to the political and economic turmoil in the country. On Thursday, Dem Party co-chairs Tunje Bakirhan and Tulay Hatimurlura met with NGO representatives in Hakkari where they expressed grievances over the current government's policies. Hatimo Lura stated, They are already losing power and will end up in the dustbin of history. Their repeated appointments of trustees are aimed at seizing municipal resources and enriching their cronies. Following the Dem Party's lead, CHP leader Uzgur Uzel, during a visit to Adana on the same day, echoed the necessity of an early election. Uzel highlighted the economic crisis and the administration's repeated mistakes as clear indicators that Turkey was ready for an early electoral call. Both parties are using recent local electoral successes as a platform to challenge the central government's approach. A Syrian Women's Council member, Muna Yusuf, has recounted the tale of her family's struggle against displacement, first by Israel and then by Turkey, in a recent interview. صارت أحداث 1948 أحداث النكبة بغزة بهذيك الأحداث أبوي ما بقى لا يقدر يرجع على غزة شفتي الترحيل اللي صار من غزة رحلوا أهل غزة كلهم صارت النكبة ورحلوا أهل غزة كلهم بهذيك الأحداث أبي ما بقى يعرف أهله وين راحوا ما بقى يعرف أبوه وين راح أمه وين راحت أولاد عمه أولاد خاله العائلات كلها تشد This displacement continued after the family moved to Syria in 1956 due to her father's subsequent work on farms owned by the state and leased out for specific periods. The lack of Syrian citizenship compounded their struggles, making employment and annual renewal of residence permits challenging. Yusuf's journey of empowerment began with the Kurdish-led Rojava revolution in northern Syria. شغل أقدر إنه فكري الشيء اللي استمديته من هاي الثورة أقدر أعطي كثير. Turkey's military operations in northern Syria significantly impacted Yusuf's life. 
particularly Operation Peacespring, initiated on the 9th of October 2019. These Turkish military operations led to occupation, human rights violations and further displacement, perpetuating a cycle of adversity for Yusuf and her community. In the year صار النزوح من راس العين ب 2019 راح 2019 صار النزوح من سريكانية صار الاحتلال التركي لسريكانية الشعور اللي شعرته بهذاك النزوح أجج لي كل المشاعر الحزينة صرت كل خطوة كنا نخطيها ونحن عم نطلع من سريكانية دائما سيناريو تبع أبوي والنزوح Abdullah Ujlan's model of democratic confederalism, with social ecology as a key principle, was inspired by Murray Bookchin's political ideas. Vincent Gerbe told freelance journalist Serkan Demiral in a Media News interview. Furthermore, the Democratic Autonomous Administration of North and East Syria has adopted Ujlan's paradigm, making it ever still relevant for the 21st century, Gerbe, a historian and environmental activist, said. There was a political connection. Ujlan was looking for a way to make a revolution without creating a new state. And, inspired by Bookchin's political ideas, he tried to establish a kind of confederation of communes tied together by ecological principles, Gerbe said, referring to the anti-capitalist American social theorist Bookchin. While Bookchin focused more on ecological problems, he continued, Abdullah Ujlan focused more on feminism or women's freedom. Ujlan aimed to develop an alternative social theory based on bottom-up politics without waiting to take power by force of arms. Gerbe also condemned the prolonged solitary confinement imposed on Abdullah Ujlan in the high-security Turkish prison island of Imrali. The political prisoner has been denied all contact with the outside world, including lawyer and family visits, for the last three years of a 25-year imprisonment. This isolation is a disgrace. Gerbe said.